We finally had our perfect day in Buenos Aires. Welcome back, family travelers. We're so excited you're here. Largely because like we have a successful day to talk about. Oh my gosh, we finally! We had so much fun. Finally. We did it! If you have seen the last couple of days, the last couple of videos we had in Buenos Aires, which is where we currently are, you will know we just had an epic fail of the first few days. Like, total fail. We had such a great time, but in like the most difficult way possible. Because the last two days were such a bust, today we were just trying to have our perfect day where we recreated everything we intended to do the first couple days here. I will say the benefit of failing on everything is that we like walked everywhere and saw what we wanted to do and like, oh, okay, we probably could have skipped on this. So it became just this like perfect day. It started in the morning, pretty much the pool, just the, the local, you know, watering hole here at the Airbnb. <laughs> I said no, I said something new. <laughs> Go all the way where you Okay, want. ready? You want to show them? Ready? You got it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Olivia at first was kind of like afraid to get in the pool. She was just tiptoeing along the edges. She just didn't want to get into the water. Mm -hmm. Then she got into the water. <laughs> and just let loose. After an easy morning at the pool, we decided that the best course of action was to take the children to a place surrounded by dead people. All right, so the next place that we had to hit after we got out of the pool, we had to go check out Recoleta Cemetery, which is gorgeous. Uh, word of warning to parents though, questions like why are people in here and who is this and you may or may not have to explain the concept of death. Uh, we did. There was some parenting I was, moments. I wasn't really prepared for that. I was I didn't not know either. that she would even like piece it together. That was um that was that was a thing that, you, that we did today. You had to just quickly think on your toes. <laughs> but the cool thing we did get to teach them was like you get, you know, you have to be like respectful in certain places and certain mm -hmm. stairs you can climb on and some you can. After three days of trying, we finally made it to the Recoleta Cemetery. It's open and other things are open and it just feels like we're in a whole new world, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go explore. We're condensing many days of a trip into one. This is like kind of morbid, but like super interesting. Cemeteries and like basilicas where you're checking out all of these people that are like dead. It's kind of weird, but like it's cool at the same time. All of these are mausoleums, so people are not even buried, they're just in like coffins. We can actually you can see their coffins inside. Underground. Mr. Everett's pretty entertained. It's a good place to take babies to wander around. This is crazy. Each one of these is for like one or two people max. I guess there's no like pyramids, but you know. Oh wait, actually there's a pyramid. This is crazy. I don't know who these people are. It's kind of hard to tell, but like, it's this insanely large building. And I think there's two people in here, but it has like their wedding photos, this like intricate door. This is mind blowing. It sounds a little weird, the fact that we went to a cemetery, you're probably like all the things to do. The one here is just very famous. There's a lot of like, um, affluent people or doctors, a lot of doctors, a lot of presidents, doctors. things like that that are in this cemetery. It was like a maze, like we couldn't even find our way out of this thing. But it's so cool because every turn you kind of made, there was something different mm -hmm. to see. So then of course, after you visit a place of cultural significance, where else are you gonna go? 
a place of, uh, of culinary significance, unique flavors, ingredients, freshly sourced product, just... Mm. A magical place. Uh, it starts with an M. I think it's um, McDonald's. <laughs> All that walking around, we're starving, and conveniently, a McDonald's, which we always go to McDonald's. That bird scared the crap out of me. Get away here. You're not having my McToast. No idea what a McToast is, but it seems like they just took a regular hamburger bun and like pressed it. Cheese, Dad, tomato, ham. You, get, you don't say get out of here. Olivia believes I was rude to the bird. No. That's shockingly refreshing. This is so much better than last night's meal. We're not kidding at all. We literally went to McDonald's. We did go to McDonald's. We always go to McDonald's. We're not above it. If you want to judge us, go for it because, you know, right? like we're still going to continue to go to McDonald's whether or not, you know, you hate on us. That's our thing. Way. It is our thing. That's our thing. Next, we moved on and where did we go? In a surprise to exactly no one, we went to a park. Park. Cool thing about the park, Everett had his first swing. <laughs> his first swing experience. It was so cute. I know. He was terrified at first. Isn't it the cutest when you have a baby and they have their first swing experience? I don't know, I just, that specifically, I think it's the cutest. <laughs> So every minute, she says three more minutes. Uh, we were supposed to leave the park probably, what, half hour ago? Maybe. Anyway, we're trying to get ice cream. So this kid really loves parks, because she won't leave to go get ice cream. So we're gonna go check out Luciano's. If we can ever get her out of the park, I don't know if we can. After you go to a park, you have to go for ice cream. And that's a thing, that's required. Yeah. And we look for ice cream pretty much everywhere we travel because... It finds us. Olivia had... I bet you can't guess what she had. We walked into this ice cream shop and there's this whole row of, um, well, regular ice cream. And then this other case was full of, they call it like ice cream popsicles is what they're famous for. So we roll up to this case of ice cream popsicles, just lots of colors and everything immediately. It took her maybe like half a second. That's the one, the minion one. That's the one. It chose her. It did. You don't choose your ice cream bar. Your and ice when cream you bar know that chooses, fast, chooses you know. Her. There we go. Harry Potter reference. And then Nick kept it classy with a Jameson popsicle. So good. There it was, was there's not booze in it, so um, I think we have a clip of Everett trying it. Don't think that we feed our children alcohol. There was no there was no alcohol in it. It was cooked out. We confirmed. Yes, and it was like a, a white chocolate, so. But it was one of the unique ones, so of course you have to try it. And then, after dessert, you have to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. We were trying to really, really hard, we were trying to redeem ourselves for yesterday because yesterday we had this grand plan of a, whole, a full food tour. We were gonna try like 
all the Argentinian classics. Mm -hmm. Well, that did not happen. And we ended up eating our dinner at a gas station. The classic Argentinian gas station. Huh? Today we redeemed ourselves. We went to this local brewery mm. that was fantastic for kids because we sat in this little, it was like just such a casual little section of the, um, it was like an outdoor dining area. It's like a patio. Like a patio, yeah. But it was a drained pool. So it used to be like a pool for a hotel, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a hotel or like a or whatever it was, but we were literally sitting in like an old pool. It was really picturesque, but perfect for kids. The oldest trick in the book here, you want to hold him? Oh. Nick thinks I knew that Everett needed a diaper change. I didn't know, I've got like, you know, I'm, a, I'm coming off of a cold, I can't really smell, you know, so. The bottle or the actual drink? The bottle. The bottle. Yeah. You're just all about that bottle, right? That's old school, girl. That's an old school bottle right there. You got your, finally, he's been wanting the chorizo filet for ever since we got here. So good. With. So good. Why do I always forget what that Ch green sauce Chimichurri. is called? Chimichurri. Chimichurri. It's like the national sauce. Take two on our little food adventure. Yesterday we tried to get a chorizo filet and some pizza. We were not successful either time. So here we are. And today, that's what we're trying to get. That's a good chimichurri. And there's a nice char on the steak. This is a cheese and onion pizza. It's kind of what they're known for, for pizza. It's got a lot of flavor. There's like herbs all over it. There's a random olive on it, which, sure, I like olives, but tons and tons of onions. I can't complain. This is a dang good pizza. So we hope you enjoyed uh, following along on our perfect day in Buenos Aires because it absolutely was. We hit up Recoleta, Palermo, Palermo Hollywood. I mean, it was fun. We saw all of the great things that we couldn't do yesterday and we went and hit them back again today. Mm -hmm. So we just had a great time. And they were all super family friendly. So yeah. even if you're not coming to Buenos Aires, I think that this is kind of like our, our typical recipe if we're trying to make our perfect day. Do something local, do kind of like a dinner that has some familiar menu items, ingredients, mm -hmm. things like that. And then look for something like a park so that your kids can just do something to burn their energy, something fun for them. Yeah. And we have one more day left. Yeah. One more day. One more day. So we're going to see what we can do tomorrow. Hopefully we have another successful day. I think we will. Mm -hmm. a great feeling about so it. So stay tuned for that video because that will be coming next week. Yeah. But for now. Have a great night. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.